Hi, I'm Joe Weisenfelder of Cars.com. It's not a good time for Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep. Their future is uncertain. Some would say part of the reason for that is stuff like this. The Dodge Nitro, it's a truck-based SUV. Pretty big on the outside, smaller on the inside, and inefficient. Now, whether or not trucks like this were the downfall of Chrysler and Dodge is debatable. What's less debatable is what's gonna happen now with fuel economy of 15 miles per gallon city and 21 highway. That's pretty bad for what is basically a compact SUV, especially when you can get car-based versions with about the same amount of size inside with much better fuel economy. And likewise, people have come to appreciate four-wheel drive and a higher ride height for winter weather and such. Um, and yeah, you get that here, but one could argue you get the same thing from a smaller, lighter car-based SUV, and in some ways, those can actually handle it better. Now, because this is truck-based SUV, sometimes it's, you know, this type is higher, a little harder to get into. And in terms of the four-wheel drive, this one has part-time four-wheel drive, which is the older system that has to be turned on, rear-wheel drive most of the time. And the problem with that is you, you can't just leave it in four-wheel drive if you're not on a slippery surface, because what that does is makes the driveline bind. The front and rear wheels can't turn at different speeds. And when you're trying to make a turn, you can actually damage it. Uh, you can't make as tight a turn as you would like to. So basically, you're going on and off if you live somewhere uh, where you're on ice and then off again, on and off. Uh, what you're basically getting for this is true off-road capability. Uh, with that comes greater weight, worse gas mileage. Now the Nitro square shape makes for a pretty decent headroom, but overall, for the bulk on the outside, the interior room isn't exceptional. Uh, the footwells, for one thing, are pretty crowded. That's partly because this is a truck-based SUV. Uh, another problem for this model has been the interior quality. Some of the materials, like the fake metal trim here, not so good, hard surfaces. Uh, it's been an issue for Dodge and Chrysler vehicles for the past few years. Now, unfortunately, the rear window doesn't open independently of the lift gate. On the good side, it's a lift gate instead of a swing gate. Now, even though the cargo floor is pretty high, the gate itself isn't. This is a little bit too low for me. It's getting hard to see what the advantages are to the truck-based SUV genre, not just the Nitro. I mean, with fuel economy of 15 miles per gallon, even though gas prices are low and everyone knows they're gonna go back up, 16, 17 miles per gallon is still better than 15. Uh, overall, SUVs have been image purchases in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, this doesn't make you cool. Minivans don't make you lame. Have we gotten to the point as Americans where we can just get over ourselves and buy something that's practical. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.